Prime Time in the Green Room op Isle of Techno 2013. De heren van Bukash Shade Guys, thank you very much first of all for taking the time to, to really still do an interview because it's the last one for today. So you guys must be excited. Thanks for having us. Always, yeah, always a pleasure. Isle of Techno, you've been playing Isle of Techno for a couple of years right now. What's the most iconic performance that you've ever done here or seen here for those so many years? I think it was the last time, I think it was in 2010, we played with Hot Ship on the same stage. And I remember that that was a very good show. Uh, it was for the last album. And Belgium is always great. We played so many good shows here in Belgium. And it's always a very um, atmospheric and crazy crowd that you have. I think many artists say that, right? <laughs> Belgium is a party. It's very, very good for artists to play here. not the typical techno artist. We play a live show with our new songs and a lot of melodic stuff. We also have a little bit of downbeat in the set, but still, of course, we play uh, our hits and, and uh, it's an energetic, energetic uh, show. But still, we will see. So, um, But I remember last time was really good. Let's see if we can top that tonight. It's our fifth album now, so, and without a singer who could, uh, who could bring the, the sound across, you know, when you have a band with a singer, you can change a lot in the music and still it would feel like you, you have a sound, you, yeah, the, the singer keeps it all together. As an instrumental act, you have to find your language and that's very difficult. Now, we're very happy and very proud that we have a certain kind of trademark Bukashed sound, but we didn't want to repeat it or, you know, just the same thing over and over again. So we had to find these new uh, ways of bringing it across. And that's, the, that's what we're very happy about. We clear the sand, come back to here, walking on, and reef and fear, with dirty hands. In muddy shoes, another day we've grown and lose. We burn the bridges. It's a completely new visual show that we have. We're very happy about that. It's uh, since since a couple of years that every every song has new visuals. It's only the I think third show that we have on this tour. So every, yeah, everything is still really all right. Is it working technically? All right. And what's this fader doing? It's that's always a, a thing at the at the start of the tour. You're never too sure about it. More into a tour. It's like blind, you know, you, any, any time of the day or night and whatever you've done before, you know what to do. In the beginning, like especially you with the keyboards, he has everything new. I stick with pretty much my own system because I, I want to know what I'm doing there. Uh, but yeah, you take some challenges. I took some challenges. I think I would change in two weeks anyway. Probably back to the old or I go even further, I don't know. To another side. 